me, Nico from Nico Macy Bakes, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make traditional Irish soda bread for St. Patrick's Day. Traditional Irish soda bread was created in the early 19th century with the introduction of baking soda. It was a simple, inexpensive recipe which was ideal for families living in remote villages with little access to cooking equipment. It was frequently cooked in iron pots over open hearths, which resulted in a dense texture, hard crust, and the slightly sour flavor that soda bread is famous for. Now let's talk about our ingredients. Four cups of flour, four tablespoons of sugar, one large egg, a half a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup of butter, one and a quarter cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Now if you don't have buttermilk on hand, that's okay, because the way I make buttermilk is I put one tablespoon of vinegar into one eight ounce measuring cup, then I fill it up the rest of the way with milk and then I sit it out for five minutes and it's buttermilk. Magic, baking magic. Let's make some traditional Irish soda bread. I'm going to start with adding my four cups of flour to my mixing bowl. And now my four tablespoons of sugar. Now we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. This is one teaspoon of baking soda. This is my baking powder. It's one tablespoon. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of softened butter. Now for this part, you want to make sure that you have a dough hook attachment for your stand mixer. Now we're going to give this a little stir, but be careful, the flour kind of comes out of the bowl sometimes. Also, it's gonna be crumply, but in just a minute we're gonna add our wet ingredients and then it'll become a really nice, kneadable dough. Now we're going to add in our wet ingredients, our one cup of buttermilk and our one egg. Our dough is just about done. Mm -hmm. It's still quite a, it's still crumbly, but once it's kneaded, we all need to be kneaded. It'll become a rich, beautiful, thick, delicious dough. So let's get this done. As you can see, our dough is still really, really crumbly, but that's okay. Because as we continue to knead it, we're going to incorporate all the gluten that came from the flour and incorporate it in the dough. It'll become sticky and workable. And it'll be so good once you bake it. I've got my dough onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and I've rolled it up into a ball. I've set my oven to 375 degrees. But before I put my bread into the oven, I'd love to share some Irish traditions with you. First of all, take a thick, sharp knife and cut a thick line through the bread one way and then another line the other way. This is to bless the bread. I don't know if you guys say a blessing before your meal, but my family always did. And this is to bless the meal. Next thing I usually do is I take my fingers, make sure they're clean guys, <laughs> and I poke a hole in each little triangle. This is to let the fairies out that might have gotten trapped in your bread while you were mixing it. So what do you guys think? She's beautiful, I love it. I love the color and the smell. Oh, I wanna eat her so bad, but I have to wait for tonight while I'm going to have my delicious Irish lamb stew. 
Oh, it's going to be so good. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to watch my other videos and visit my website. The links are down below. Make sure to also hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone.